Hello everyone, I welcome you all to this video. This video is about how to edit the bakery logos that you have purchased from my Etsy shop. Uh, if you haven't purchased the bakery logos yet and you are interested in this product, I have given a link in the description to this product. You can go ahead and buy this particular Canva template. So if you have downloaded, if you've purchased and downloaded the file in the in the product uh, you will find a link inside the inside that file using that link you will come to a page like this here you will click use a template button once you do that you will be asked to register with Canva if you already do not have an account remember that you do not have to buy a pro account you do not have to pay for anything because you can easily edit these logos without any problem and download them having a free Canva account. But one thing to note here is that if you have a free Canva account, the logo will be downloaded with this white background. If you want to download only this logo with transparent background and nothing behind these things, you have to either sign up for a canva pro account or sign up for 30 days free trial so if you already have exhausted your 30 days free trial what you can do is you can sign up with a new email id for a new canva account and sign up for a 30 days free trial with that new email so let's uh, now see how you can edit and what all you can edit so this template basically contains 15 different pages with 15 different logos each one of them will be edited as i show you so first things first let's start with the first page here we can see that we have a few different graphic elements and a text that goes here so simply to edit the text you will just double click on the text and you will be able to edit the text and write whatever you want to write here all right so say for example your brand is called new bakery after writing your brand name what i would do is i would send i would align it in center and if you want to move anything around you can just click and drag it around if you want to undo it just use this button or hold control and press z or z so if you want to change the position of these things you can just move it around but i have placed it aesthetically so i don't think you would like to move these things around so simply just uh, change the text and this part is ready to be downloaded if you want to add a new tagline underneath this main line what you can do is hold alter alter key in windows and click and drag it so it will make a new copy of it so place it just beneath this text and <coughs> excuse me and while again while holding alt key you will drag one corner and make it smaller why am i holding alt key i will show you i will hit ctrl and z to undo the changes if i do not hold alt key it will be you know misaligned so undo i will hold alt key and i will reduce its size so this is your tagline just double click it and write whatever you would like to write now we see that the text has gone in the second line to bring it in same line you have to widen the text box to widen the text box again hold alt alt key and drag this part towards right all right one thing more that you can do with the text is click on this part and play with the spacing so if you want to increase the space and match the width of the tagline you can do that from here just drag this little circle and your 
spacing will be increased between the between the letters and your logo is ready all right the next logo so here what you can do is you first just zoom in a little bit because this logo has so many things in it you have to zoom in to work properly so to select the outer circle outer circle is basically this dark brown circle this is not actually the outer circle this is the circle that is completely in the background of this logo so move your move your mouse at the outer edge and click on it you will be able to change its size like this Control Z to undo the change to change its size while keeping it in proportion we have to hold alter key and then drag from a corner <laughs> all right and to change its color you will click on this box and choose from any default colors that are here or choose from the colors that are already being used in this document throughout or if you want to choose a color of your own choice click here and drag this little circle around to find your desired color and choose your desired shading from this part if you know the hex code of your own branding color you can just write that hex code over here and press enter to change the text just double click over here write whatever you want and change whatever text you want to change from here you can also change the color of this circle from here as we already discussed and you can change the color of these uh, graphic elements I think this is wheat click here change the color click here click here change the color then again this center circle you can do the same with this circle coming over to the next logo this basically has a splash in the background then uh, a chef's hat or a baker's hat and then the main text and the tagline so we have already seen how you can edit the text to change the color of the splash or to change its orientation just click on the splash you can rotate the splash using this little uh, icon over here and you can change its size by holding alt key and dragging it from a corner if you don't hold alt key it will get out of its place if you want to change its color just go to this option and change the color as already discussed then comes this hat you can also change the color of hat from this this part and one thing I forgot to mention in previous uh, logos is that you can also change the color of text that will be changed from here using the same technique you can also change the font of the text you can click on the text over here and from here you can change the font if you already know the name of font that you want to use you can type it here and search for it if you don't you can just uh, scroll down and find the one that suits your branding but remember that if you do not have a pro account or a uh, free trial period that 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 is of 30 days if you do not have these one of these two things you will not be able to use the fonts with with this little uh, with this little pro icon over here all right so you have to choose any font that does not have this crown with it crown means this is a premium element 
which you will not be able to download if you do not have a Canva Pro or a Canva free account with 30 days free trial period. So for example, I want to use this one. I will click here and I will align it. I will just move it towards left. And when this horizontal line appears in the middle, it shows that now the text is centrally aligned. We have already seen how you can edit this text. Just double click and write whatever you want to write here. And we have already seen how you can change colors of different graphic elements. All right. Now, one more thing that is uh, important to know about the text that is written along a curve. If you want to change the curvature, you will have to go to this effects scroll down and from this curve option you can change the curvature all right you see this <clears throat> and you can change the text by double clicking you can change the text you can change the text of color the font oh, sorry you can change the color of the text the font of the text and you can change the color of graphic elements and you can even change the size of all of these things you can also delete this one and add a new graphic element by going to this elements part and then searching for anything over here such as chef hat and then you will have to select graphics all right so remember you do not have to use these pro pro uh, graphic elements if you do not have uh, Canva Pro or Canva free account with 30 days free trial. To avoid this, you can go to the filters part, scroll down, and I don't see the free option over here, but you can just differentiate between the free and the pro elements by looking at them. Those that have this crown thing with them are uh, Canva premium elements. And those do, do, that do not have it, it can be used easily. All right, so control Z to bring it back. Same goes with this logo. This logo can also be edited. The circle behind it can be, you know, uh, it can be moved around. Its size can be changed. Its color can be changed from here. Simple. The text here can be changed. Uh, the text font can be changed. The text color can be changed, size can be changed, same goes for the suite, its color and size and orientation can be changed, same goes for this part, you can, you can drag it from a corner to change its size. Coming to this one, click on this shield, it will show you the colors that are being used in the shield. Click here. So this dark brown part, its color can be changed from here. This white part, its color can be changed from here. I don't know why this yellow color is appearing here. I don't see any yellow parts in it. So just forget about that yellow color. We have already seen about this uh, weed, and how to change these the, its color and how to change its sizing, how to change the text, how to change this text, and then this graphic element how to change its color all right so almost every graphic element almost every text is editable now this logo the graphic elements in this logo cannot be changed all right so the only thing that can be changed in this particular logo is text the rest everything is fixed I know uh, it sounds odd, it sounds odd that you cannot change anything in this logo, but this is how it is. Canva wouldn't let me change anything in this one, only the text can be changed. Here everything can be changed, the graphic element, the text here, the text here, it can be changed. Even the color of this graphic element can be changed and the size can be changed. Same goes for this one, everything can be changed and this one 
there's a there's a thin line between the main text and the tagline you can change the sizing you can change the width of the thickness of the line by going to this option and moving this slider around you can change its color by going to this option and you can change the color of this logo by going here the outlines are made of, are, are of this color and the filling is of white color so you can change it from here and same goes for this logo we have already seen how you can change the curvature how you can change the curves then this logo it has many different uh, graphic elements joined together you see this you can change its color from here and you can change the text as already discussed and this is a separate logo you can change its color you can change its size then there is a circular pattern over here <coughs> which can be changed easily same goes for this logo so i hope by now you will be able to edit your own logo write your own brand name and write your own uh, tagline and uh, change the color of different elements to 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 match it with your own branding if you already have it if you do not have your own branding you can just go ahead with the the colors i already have selected for you so next thing is <coughs> you want to download this this uh, you want to download the logo that you have changed for yourself so to do that go to this share this share option maybe it is not completely visible in the video but on the top right corner there will be a share button you just click on it a drop down will appear from here you click on download from here make sure png is selected because if png is not selected the background this background this brown background or or this background or whatever background is there it will appear in in the in the logo so we do not want this background with with our logo because we want our logo to be with transparent background so that we may put the logo anywhere we want so go to download click on this transparent background if you have a canva pro account this option will be active and if you have a canva free account with 30 days free trial this option will be active so then you will have to select the particular page the particular logo that you have changed that you have edited for yourself <coughs> uh, it is not visible completely in this video but if you go towards the right side there are check boxes so there are check boxes you have to uncheck this part you have to uncheck the all pages part and then scroll down to the particular one that you want to download just just put a check on this one and then click done and while ensuring that the the transparent background is checked you will click on download and your logo will be downloaded with transparent background so this is how you will edit and download the logo for yourself for your own brand i hope that this product helps you in your branding and i hope you like my product if you do please don't forget to give a good review on my product this will help my shop uh, to be found and if you like this video uh, put a thumbs up and subscribe to this channel also because we are going to launch a lot of new products very soon every now and then we are launching products and you will be notified if we do uh, so goodbye and hope to see you again